welcome to Those Jerkies Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today I am going to show you the dogs and myself skin routine. So I did see a comment in the comments below on, I think it was our last video, requesting a skin routine video. So I thought it'd be fun to show you what I do to keep my skin healthy and also what I do to keep the dog skin healthy. So I'm going to show you what we do for the dogs first and then I'll show you what we do for me. I'm gonna get a tell me the dog really quick. I'm gonna get Zoe because Marley is on guard duty right now. He's very intent on watching what is going on outside. There are people moving in. And if I try to bring him over here, he's just gonna hate it. So I'm gonna get Zoe. So just give me one second. And here is the little Mish Zozo. Zozo, say hello. Say hello, I'm Zozo. How are y'all? First thing that I do to make sure that the dogs have good skincare is of course what we feed them. So a few things that I do on top of their food is I always add salmon oil to their food. I always put in salmon oil to their food. This is salmon oil, support shiny coat and healthy skin. So they get one pump of this, well probably about a half a pump because if you give them too much, well for my dogs if you give them too much they will get a little nauseous. So I give them a half a pump of this in the morning and that's it for the day. So this is really good for their skin, it really does help their coat. That's one of the main things that I do because Good skin really starts, of course, from within. It's not all about what you put on your skin, but it's more about what you put in your body. So I do focus on this with the dogs. Another thing that I do to support good skin health is, of course, I wash the dogs, bathe the dogs frequently. So they get a bath once a week. Um, and so recently I have switched them over to a new um, shampoo and conditioner. Now, for me, I'll, every wash video you guys see I'm probably using a different shampoo I don't necessarily stick to the same thing unless I just really 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 love it so right now I'm trying this brand that I got from Ross I shop at Marshalls and Ross and of course PetSmart but don't sleep on Marshalls and Ross because they have really quality brands for of course cheaper prices so right now we are using basics by next generation pet so the shampoo conditioner that i mean the shampoo that we've been using is tea tree and aloe and it's an organic shampoo with avocado oil it's chemical and dye free it has no chemical foaming agent so let's see there we go so that's what they're using right now and the ingredients on it are pretty good so um, the ingredients are organic aloe water, organic liquid castile soap, um, organic jojoba oil soap, organic oatmeal extract, organic, organic chamomile extract, organic tea tree oil, organic olive, avocado oil, organic glycerin, and some type of gum, I guess, to make it that sticky. So that's all the ingredients in this. This is really, really, really good shampoo. I like it. It doesn't have a super soft, strong scent. But I mean, it almost smells like, um, what's that shampoo? It's like that shampoo that we use for dandruff, like that minty kind of smell. That's what it kind of gives me. So this is a shampoo that we use. And then the conditioner that we use that's really good for their skin is lavender and sweet almond organic conditioner with jojoba oil. And it's the same thing, chemical and dye free and no chemical foaming agent. Um, and the ingredients are still pretty solid. Pretty much the same thing. Everything is organic and everything is things that I know. Like it has sweet almond oil, organic hemp seed, organic jojoba oil, organic aloe water, and organic candula oil. So like I said, great ingredients. And these were only $3.99 each. And this is all stuff that I can read, all stuff that I trust. And I really see a difference in the, their coat. I will say for Zoe, within the last year, she was getting um, allergies really bad and she was scratching herself so bad to where it was starting to flake up and become raw. Um, so I was trying a bunch of different things and I ended up taking her to the vet and so now she does get an allergy shot in between her shoulders every, mm, you're supposed to go like every four months or so but she kind of just goes when it flares up. I notice her itching more than normal. I book her appointment and usually they'll get her in that day and they'll go ahead and give her a shot. So, so she has been dealing with allergies. This is a new thing. That's, this just happened within the last year. So this is not something that we've always dealt with. And so it did cause, like, initially, 
yeah it's not there anymore but before she had like a little discoloration it was mainly like under here under her arms right here that would be super itchy um so that has definitely calmed down with of course a shot and I think using these ingredients and putting the salmon oil has definitely helped her skin um so another thing that I typically do before like every day or so because I've been brush I brush the dog's teeth every evening so what we've been doing Zoe is I will take her comb and I'll kind of just comb through and I'll look at her skin to see like if I see anything just to make sure her skin looks good there's no um, patches I look for dry patches I look for anything like scaly or scaby and of course they like it so I just kind of just brush through her skin um, and look and just make sure that everything looks good um, I'll go through her head I go through her neck and I do this with Marley too of course it takes me a little bit longer with Marley because his hair is a little bit thicker but yeah and it helps me also to make sure they're not getting tangled up it helps me to make sure that their fur is nice and there's nothing stuck in their fur nothing bothering them and of course with Zoe I always make sure sorry Zoe I'm just whipping you around to check like her underarms and things of that nature just to make sure that she is okay so those are the main things that I do for the dog skin just to make sure that we keep their skin just to make sure that we keep their skin healthy now another thing that I do and this is just me and this is not something I've been doing long but um hold on let me go get it because I don't have it I thought I had it over here another thing that I use and I use this even in my skin routine so this is in the dog skin routine and it is in my skin routine I use grapeseed oil and this I just get this from the store in the cooking section uh, like that's literally it it's 100% grapeseed oil and I put the teeny tiniest like little drops I rub it in and I just kind of rub it on their skin I rub it on their fur for Zoe and Marley I hit up her underarms make sure I rub their underbelly and I don't do this every day because I don't want them to be a greasy mess and literally it's just like even sometimes I'll just rub the bottle because the bottle will have like residue and I just rub it like all over I rub it in her little puff and things like that because grapeseed oil is really 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 great for the skin um, it has a lot a lot a lot of qualities that really help your skin thrive and so I just put a little grapeseed oil on them, rub it in, and I'll do that maybe like once a week. I don't do it that often because like I said, I don't want their fur to get greasy and to get weighed down and to look all, ugh. I like their fur to look, you know, lustrous and nice. Like, you see her coat is nice and shiny and it looks pretty, you know, pretty healthy if I do say so myself. So yeah, that's what I've been doing to keep the dog skin healthy and I think that it's been going pretty good, huh, Zozo? Hmm. So yeah, step one, make sure you're feeding them a healthy diet. Step two, use something that's really good on their skin. Um, you don't want to be using super harsh shampoos and conditioners on your dog's skin. You want to make sure you're using something with, just like in the pet food video, with good clean ingredients. Step three, you know, and this is just your preference. I saw a lot of people um, use sometimes vitamin E oil they rub it on their dog skin. I just use grapeseed oil because it's been working wonders for me and my skin and my skin struggles which we'll talk about later but yeah I love the grapeseed oil and like I said their skin is doing really good and even when I just rub that little bit on there it does give her a nice little uh, got me a nice little shine and it's not greasy but yeah so that is currently the dog skin routine that is what I do to keep their skin happy and healthy so if you're interested in seeing my skin routine we're gonna head to the bathroom and stay tuned all right guys so I'm in the bathroom now I'm about to show you guys try to make sure I'm in focus sorry so I'm in the bathroom now I'm about to show you guys my current skin routine that I'm doing so a moment of transparency through the pandemic I've been having a few issues with my skin um, all of a sudden like of course it's because of the mask but my skin just started to dry out really bad like I had dry patches here and I got it really bad dry patches here and some discoloration I'm sure you guys have seen the videos like it looks 
this color right here and then I have some here and so that has been an ongoing battle but I have seen recently I did make some changes to my skincare routine because a few months ago it's probably pretty echoing here because the bathroom let me maybe go on this door so a few months ago, I was using The Ordinary, and I don't know if it was kind of drying my skin out. Not, no shade towards The Ordinary, because I still use some of their oils. But I don't know if it was kind of drying my skin out, but I don't think it was making it any better. So I did make a few little changes, and so I have seen some improvements with this, and the discoloration is getting a little bit better and easier to manage, and doesn't look so dark. Um, but that was just a struggle that I have been going through with my skin and so I'm just going to show you guys what's been going on but yeah, just want to give you an overview like I guess I can get a little bit closer to this like skin video so yeah, just want to give you an overview of just really close to the camera what's been going on with my skin so the first thing that I do is of course put my hair in a ponytail get it out of the way I usually do like a half up half down situation so, um, alright, so this is me, I just got the shower, after I filmed the dog's videos, I was like, let me go ahead and take my shower for the night, so I just got the shower, so typically I will just wash my face with my face wash in the shower, but of course since I'm filming, they won't do that. So, the new line that I am using is called, and this literally is a line that I got from Walmart, it's called Clean Clean Beauty and I've been using all their stuff and this is the rose hip the rose hip jelly face cleanser um, and so uh, it has rose hip oils rose water bladder rack seed wheat seaweed extract so anyways I use about one or two pumps of this and it comes out in like this jelly ish consistency so I wet my face first one to two pumps of this and then I just of course wash my face that's the first thing I do first thing I do is I'll just use like medium warm to wash my um, face as a lukewarm water I also do use code I don't use code and it's been working okay for me thus far so so water is good so like I said I do like, like one to two pumps of this so this is kind of what it looks like like I said it's just like a jelly consistency so yeah that's what it looks like I just wet my face first Get neck and then I just rub this in So, after I do that, I just kind of just pat my face dry. And I will kind of rub here because like I said, my skin is just dry right here, so it'll be kind of peely. So I just try to get that off so it'll be smooth. But yeah. So after I do this, after I do this, I always spray my face with rose water. And this is the same rose water that I mentioned in Dogmas that my friend from middle school made and I ordered it and I've been using it and I absolutely love it. So I do just spray rose water all on my face. So I'm going to go get that and I keep it in the refrigerator. It said best kept refrigerated so I decided to listen to the instructions. And let me go get the rose water really quick and spray it on my face. So this is the rose water that I use. So I kind of just shake it up a little bit. And then I just spray it. And I, use, I spray this on my face. I spray it in my hair. I sometimes spray it on the dogs, like Zoe's top knot, Marley's hair. Um, it's just really good for your hair and skin. So I spray it everywhere. So yeah. So yeah, I do that. <laughs> and spray it everywhere. It's nice and cool and refreshing because it's in the refrigerator. So I kind of just like fan myself dry a little bit. So from here, like I said, I do use some of the Ordinary's oils still. So I still use the under eye caffeine solution. So this is what I use. 
I just use a tiny little dot on my finger and I just use both my pointer fingers and I kind of just pat it in. I put that under my eye, eyes, then I use the Clean Beauty Cooling Eggplant Balm and I just usually, so I usually just put this on on top of the oil. And from there, I will put on the Grexy oil. Like I said, I use this on my I use grapeseed oil on my skin daily and it's just literal grapeseed oil you get. I got this at Walmart by like where the olive oil is. I don't use that much because it does be pretty moist so I use like a, I don't know if you can see that but a decent olive oil. Let's so fill it. So yeah, and I just rub that into my face. Put this on and usually wipe my hands off because I'm pretty greasy. And then finally, I just use it, depends on what time I'm washing my face. If I'm washing my face in the morning, I use the Clean Beauty with the Mineral SPF 30 facial moisturizer. This is what I use when I wake up in the morning and I wash my face. But since it's evening time, what time is it? We are filming this at 5.53. Since it's evening, I'm going to use the Clean Beauty Lavender Chamomile Night Cream. And so I'll use this. So I'll use this at night. And literally I just kind of put my nail in there. Get a little dollop. Now rub it in a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That's everything that I do for my skin. And also once I finish, where to go? I usually will put on some. So I usually just put on a little bliss sticks on my lips. Sometimes I will do like a little homemade scrub on my lips. And that is everything that I do. And most of the time, if I already have the rose water out, I will go ahead and just like, ooh, I will go ahead and like just put some, ow. And I do put the grapeseed oil in my hair too. Like I put the grapeseed oil pretty much everywhere. I put it in my hair, on my skin. I mean, it's good for pretty much everything. Put it on my dogs. Just like rub it in and I already have like great seed oil on my hands even though a lot of times I'll go back and get some more but I just put some in this morning so I don't want to put any more great seed oil in there but that is that's my skin and that's what I do to my skin on a, a daily basis is what I do in the morning at night the only difference from the morning and the night is I change the moisturizer to the night cream that I use and I guess I'll give you guys a close-up of what my skin looks like. And of course, you know, it's imperfection, but I am working on the dark marks and things like that. But this is what I've been doing to really help with the issues that the mask has been giving me with the dry patches and the dry skin. I also sometimes will do the um, ordinary, the peeling solution. I wouldn't say I do it once a week. I'm not that consistent with it, but I do do it. Like if I remember, I'll put this on. It does tingle a little bit. But I'll do this maybe like once every two weeks or so, um, just to help. I don't like when this stuff falls over in the drawer, it bothers me. A little bit of my OCD kicking in. But anyways, I would do that just to help with my skin and help to kind of get the my skin back even. Um, Cause that's the fight I've been just struggling with lately is I want my skin to be even. I want it to just, be clear. We can't get, the, get through one video. 
without Marley barking. But anyways, this is what my skin looks like. And then I have my little Zoe. I'm in the bathroom. She's in the bathroom. She stays with me. Hi, Zoe. Marley was in here. Marley! Marley! He's busy. He's being the guard dog. I don't think Marley's been in this video. Um, but anyways, guys. That is my skin routine and the dog skin routine. This is what we do to keep our skin healthy. Uh, in the comments below, let me know what you guys do. What's your skin routine? What does your skin routine look like? If you have any suggestions for mine, let me know if you have any ideas of what I could add to help me clear my skin up from these masks. They're just killing my poor face. I need to get a silk line mask. That is next on my list to get, just so that cotton is not drying my skin out. Anywho, definitely thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.